Hi subscribers and viewers, welcome to this wonderful channel. Welcome to our B channel. So in this video, we are going to learn about Microtech and we are going to learn about a tool or a software in Microtech router called the SNMP. Simply meaning the Simple Network Management Protocol. This tool is used for monitoring and management of all connected network devices on an internet protocol. So basically we are going to see how this device works in Microtech and then apply it in our daily lives. Right, so kindly relax, sit back and watch me as I go deep in this particular tool called the SNMP, Simple Network Management Protocol. Thank you. So, without wasting time, let's go ahead with this configuration. You can always find the SNMP tool under IP, under IP tab. So you can see the SNMP here. It's very simple to configure actually. This is a previous thing I did, so please forgive me for this. Um, okay, so when you open the this tool, the first thing you must do is to configure um, the contact info, okay, which can be a name and accompanied with um, an email. Okay. Example like what I'm just typing and then the location. If if you have the engine ID, you provide it down here, else you leave it at default. The trap target it can be left on default. Right? And then um before we continue, just come to communities and add a community. So in this case, I'm adding or will be and then I can give it a read and write access. I can also assign an IP address here or I just have to just leave it default and then even provide security here. And then down here we have authentication protocols, encryption protocol as well. You can select anyone, but in this case I'm leaving them at default. Apply and OK and close this and then come back here and then you you can find the trap community here so select the trap community the trap version i'm selecting trap version one okay um trap generators you can leave it on, on default which is a temp e exemption that we have the trap interfaces you can select the interface you want okay but then i want it on all interfaces so i'm leaving it on default and then here this is a source address you can also leave it at default click on enable and apply and okay so we are done with our snmp configuration in microtech the next thing to do is to do the snmp tester so in this case i've downloaded mine already which is the Pisler Pisler snmp tester so this is the name of the SNMP tester okay now if you come to this side of it at the left side you can see local IP so you have um, a couple of local IPs here but you can just choose any if you want it to affect all the IPs or the interfaces on this um, IP but the right um, target should come here which is the device IP or port leave everything on default you can change this to any of these SNMP versions okay so what I'm using is one version one now if you the target must always be a gateway of a router and you must be on the same network it's not like a different network so either you target um, in this case i'm dealing with microtech so i can sell i can use microtech's ddns like what i have here 
so this is my microtic DNS name okay you can choose to use microtic gateway which is this one this IP is gotten from my ISP I can also use this IP as well or I can use the DNS name which is provided down here so let's do a test and see exactly how this thing works so I've pasted the DNS and then you click on so you leave everything on default unless you want to change some things here okay so in this case um, with the select request type I want to select the scan interfaces so that it scans all interfaces on this network it's going to give us some details so let's try it and see so now the instruction is running it's going to stop in a jiffy and then we can see into details whatever has been provided as you can stop it if you think it's okay with the scanning okay so now we have um it has scanned all the interfaces on this router and it's giving us some feedbacks here so let me take example so let's start from up here from up here it provides the name of my computer which is the RAS interface it provides this list of IPs here it gives us the time the date the milliseconds okay so these are a couple of stuffs we can see here these are some details that came with the scan we just did okay but the most interesting part of it for me is where um, it is able to identify a port and tell you some details about the port so example this is port 1 okay so these are some of the details we can find at the port 1 okay which is the WLAN actually yes but there is more interesting stuff down here that is the most important part of me where it is able to tell you if a particular port is active and connected and the kind of bandwidth it is passing through that port so let me go down here okay i found it okay so this is exactly what i was telling you you see i have some interfaces here like the fast vpn it's able to give me details about the vast vpn but at this moment it's not active so we aren't going to see any much stuff with regards to it now great so this is the part i was talking about so found interfaces so it starts from one like the above ones one wlan one two eta one all the way to eight okay no all the way to 10 that's fast vpn so this, all these are regarded as interfaces on the microtic router and so if we take the first one example which is a wlan one we have it connected and the speed we get on it is 50 megabits per second so that is my laptop is connected to the WLAN interface of Microtech and this is what bandwidth is transmitted on this interface which shows that it is connected now if we come to ETA1 ETA1 traffic nothing is connected on it though I'm using it to power on this Microtech device but it's not being configured as the means of bringing internet into the router so we ain't seen 
we are, we are not seeing anything connected to this particular port. If we go to ITA2, we can see that ITA2 is actually connected and we have 100 megabits per second on this interface. So it goes all, all the way down. We have ITA5, which is also connected, transmitting 100 megabits per second on it. And we have this WLAN2. Actually, on my Microtik router, I have two frequencies, 2.4 gigahertz and then 5 gigahertz. And so each one broadcasts an SSID. So this is the reason why you see WLAN1 and WLAN2, okay? And so if we come down here, we can see testing standard interfaces. And it comes with certain um, attributes to these ports or these interfaces. Okay. There are meanings to all this stuff. So basically, this is how you can use the simple network management protocol to actually monitor and manage your ports. Okay, and manage your interfaces. So these are the details we can actually find under So let's try and use use the gateway as well. So 192.168.8.1, right? Let me clear this, guys, and then start again. Okay. So it basically brings up the same um, details we saw with regards to when I pasted the DNS name of the Microtik router is basically the same information, nothing changes. You see? And so nothing actually changes. We, f we see the same thing here. Okay, and then we have these other ones down here with the regards to the SNMP data type. ASN counter so basically um, we've come to the end of this video um, I'm very glad you've been able to learn something out of this video and then you can utilize this SNMP tool to um, have a maximum benefit on your network thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos and share my videos as well thank you and goodbye